Good morning. It is Friday, December 5th, 2025. We got a lot to talk about in today's weather forecast like we did yesterday. Big time Arctic outbreak is on the way for early to the middle of next week. We are talking about record shattering Arctic temperatures in across the northern plains of Great Lakes and the northeast where temperatures could get as low as negative 15 to negative 25 degrees below zero. And this along will trigger big time snowstorms across much of the northern plains into the Great Lakes and out across the northeast. So to start things off, here's a look at the satellite imagery here across the lower 48 of the United States and we can see where our active weather is currently right now across much of the eastern U.S. here especially over Virginia West Virginia into the Carolinas where we're seeing a lot of rainfall some thunderstorms some heavy snowfall dumping across Virginia as we speak some showers and thunderstorms riding the coastline here of Texas into Louisiana as well as Mississippi and Alabama, but otherwise most of the nation nice and quiet, but that's not gonna last for too much longer as we take a look now at our global computer models. And when we take a look here at our latest European model, we can see with what we're dealing with now for this morning, definitely that snowstorm impacting much of Virginia as well as West Virginia. We talked about that in the last couple of videos, how you are going to be dealing with some snow for your Friday morning commute. We also got some light to moderate rainfall falling across Georgia, some of the Carolinas and the Appalachians, but not cold enough for the higher elevations there to get some snow but there are big weather pattern changes lurking out there across the northern tier of the United States, including for Western Canada. More Arctic high pressure systems are going to trigger some extreme Arctic outbreaks as we go into early to the middle of next week. So putting this into motion here on the European deterministic model forecast, we can see where it all starts off here with this next winter storm that is going to be developing out of British Columbia, Alberta, Canada, moving into Wyoming, as well as Montana, bringing some light to moderate snowfall. But take note of this Arctic high pressure system up here to the north. We'll look at those temperatures here in a little while. But this is going to, of course, trigger our next winter storm here for the northern plains here, such as um, pretty much Iowa, really in the square face of getting light to moderate to even heavy snowfall with this winter storm. And this is pretty much going to fizzle out gradually as it moves further east once it gets past Indiana. I think it's there's not going to be a whole lot of moisture left with it, but hey, some locations will get more snowfall with this one, but boy, it is going to be that cold air moving in out of Canada that you're going to feel the most with. So now for Sunday into Monday next week, more storms hitting the Pacific Northwest, such as Oregon, Washington, British Columbia, but none hitting California, Nevada, or the desert Southwest it's going to be nice and dry and quiet for the foreseeable future because of this blocking ridge pattern that we'll be looking at. But boy, where it's quiet is not so much. Once you cross the Rockies into the Midwest, that's where we have our active weather. Very cold temperatures, periodic snowstorms coming in out of the Northwest. And that's basically the theme for most of next week. So by Monday, December 8th, by Tuesday, okay, by Tuesday morning, big time atmospheric river impacting Oregon and Washington, mainly north of Portland, Oregon. That's where the heaviest rainfall is going to be. High elevation snow, this would be a rather warm storm. So uh, snowfall levels will probably be about um, five to 6,000 feet there. Pretty high for um, Washington standards. But what it's gonna do, is it's just gonna trigger more colder systems coming in out of Alberta, Canada. Here's that system moving into the Great Lakes. Doesn't look as strong as what we thought yesterday's model run, but for this is for Tuesday morning, by the way, showing a little bit of snow there, but here comes another. It's just the parade and the parade of snowstorms um, developing on the eastern side of the Cascade Range of Canada there in British Columbia. So then by Wednesday morning, there's that storm system, more snow for the Great Lakes. I'll tell you, Ethan, you're probably loving this pattern. We just talked tonight and you were like, wow, I really love the snow, but you're going to love just how cold it's going to get unless you hate the cold and I know you hate the cold, uh, but yeah, definitely going to be a cold one. Wait until you see those temperatures, 
But boy, oh boy, big time rainfall for Oregon and Washington. Only if this could hit California and Nevada and the desert southwest, this would be very beneficial. But it's not going to happen. By the time we go into Thursday, yeah, that system rolls out. And then look at another one. Hmm, yeah, another one. Seven days out. This one looks a little bit more significant here on the model. Moderate to heavy snowfall in about seven to eight days. By the way, we are in the land of hope and dreams here. So a lot of you are like, ooh, yes, we're going to get more snow. But wait a second. It is pretty far out into model fantasy land here on the 11th day of December. So that system develops, gets pretty dynamic here in about, this is roughly about seven and a half to eight days, but it is going to be the cold air that comes in in its wake. It's just reamplifying all that colder air that moves offshore, and then it's just more colder air. Look at this Arctic high building in. It's a 1,047 millibar Arctic high settling in across the Great Lakes, and whoo. That is going to be the jackpot of the season there. That is a very cold air mass settling in. All right, and this would be for, this would be in about 10 days. So we're looking at the middle of the month of December here for Monday, the 15th and the 16th. Boy, cold days are settling in, looks like there by the 17th. So how much snowfall could you see with this type of pattern? Well, some areas will get a lot and some areas not so much. First of all, the mountains of the uh, Olympic Mountains will get quite a bit. The Cascade Range there could get uh, several feet of snowfall over the next 10 days. But of course, over here in the Dakotas into Minnesota, again, adding all of this up with the repeated Alberta Clipper-like snowstorms, you're looking at anywhere between 10 to 15 inches of snowfall is what I'm thinking right now for Chicago, for Michigan. You're looking at about 8 to 10 inches of snowfall. And of course, some of the lake effect areas here could get maybe a couple of feet of snowfall over the next couple of weeks. And then that includes here for Erie, Pennsylvania. And I'm not even going to say it because I'll probably get it wrong, but you get what, I, what I'm saying here. Um, near Buffalo, New York, though, didn't say that one wrong. Nine inches of snow. Watertown, New York, 22 inches of snow. So definitely some needed uh, wintry weather here. And boy, if this pattern keeps up, a lot of you will end up probably seeing a white Christmas. And then, of course, for the, uh, the West Virginia area, that includes our current snowstorm here. You're going to get more additional snow, perhaps, but not really amounting to too much for most locations here. From about Jersey Shore all the way down across Virginia, looking at an additional uh, three to five inches of snowfall after we get past this snowstorm. So let's take a look now at how much rainfall are you going to see over the next 10 days. Some areas will see a lot of rainfall and some areas will not see anything at all. And I'll tell you, uh, California is one of them, um, Arizona, New Mexico, most of Texas, and pretty much all of Oklahoma, all of Arkansas, and pretty much a good chunk of Kansas. Not going to see much rain at all over the next 10 days. And this is really unfortunate. Yeah, we're in better shape in California, but if this pattern keeps up, we're going to be in drought conditions probably by the beginning of January, and we just got done getting out of it. So, yeah, just very unfortunate. Um, up here, though, in Oregon and Washington, yeah, you can't get a break from the rainfall. You're looking at about a foot of quantitative precipitation in that area. Uh, th that would be in the form of snow for the higher elevations. So is the, the uh, some parts of the Rockies up here to the north in Montana. You're looking at about five to eight inches of liquid equivalent of rainfall there, but in the form of snow for the higher elevations. Okay. So now that we talked about the rainfall, let's talk about the temperatures. This is the jackpot of the video. This is basically the meat of the video because it it is going to be it's a big deal it really is and do i rarely say this is going to be historic this could be all-time record breaking cold for the month of december i know it gets colder than this in january and february but we're in december and this is not very december like for many locations here to the north and the great lakes this could cause a lot of problems so brace yourself for what's to come 
Looking at the uh, surface temperature here forecast, of course, we got more colder air coming in over the next uh, several days. My friend Ethan B said it's negative one degrees at his um, house right now in central Indiana, and that's nothing to compare to with how cold it's going to get over the next week or two because this colder air is just going to keep pumping southward because of how weak our stratospheric polar vortex is. We'll show you the 500 millibar height chart here um, in a little while. But this will, will explain it very well once we get to that, um, when, once we cross that bridge. So when you take a look here at the temperatures for the beginning to the middle of next week, they do moderate a little bit. So if you want to think about some good news to get outdoors, probably Tuesday and Wednesday would be the days where temperatures warm back up just above freezing. Down here, it's nice and warm. Temperatures in the 50s and 60s. Well, yeah, 50s is chilly, but hey, that's nothing compared to with how cold it's going to get. Because once we go into the middle to the end of next week, I'm afraid to say I've got bad news coming for you all. Temperatures back into the 20s, some negative temperatures here in Michigan, negative temperatures in Wisconsin, and definitely some negative temperatures here in Minnesota. Now, negative 14 degrees for Thursday morning, I'm afraid, on the 11th day of December. That's very cold, but nothing. It's only going to get colder. I hate to be the bear bad news here. It's only going to get colder. Look at this. Uh, during the day, by the way, Indiana might not get out of the single digits. This is far out, though. This is 210 hours out, so this is in the land of hope and dreams. Some of you are hoping that it gets this cold, and some of you are not hoping so much for that um, because, yeah, this is indoor weather instead. Stay inside if it gets this cold, if the model actually verifies and shows this. The Euro European model has been on something about this happening so we'll be watching it let's go into sunday out to 10 days now this is in fantasy land this would be pretty this would be a big deal here uh, for the month that we're in the middle of december this is like middle of january right here negative 18 degrees that is We've got negative 17 there negative 14 degrees <coughs> excuse me this is really, really cold. Fargo, um, central Minnesota, um, Minot, um, oh, right. Minot, Minot. See these, I want to pronounce all these city names, but I can't get everything correctly. I, I, I am, I'm a terrible person. You guys make fun of me. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, Sioux Falls, very cold as well as central, um, um, Iowa there, Des Moines sitting at four degrees below zero during the day <laughs> and it gets colder. Look at this. Ooh, ooh. I'm not trying to whine. I'm, I'm being sarcastic folks, folks, but oh my gosh, I can't even stare at that. That's negative 28 degrees below zero. Yeah. If that verifies who that's going to, that's definitely going to crush records. Single digits, just about anywhere you go in the great lakes and the Northeast wind chills. Those are even worse. Look at these wind chill values for Tuesday morning in some locations. It might feel like negative 32, might feel like negative 40 in some areas. Yeah, like up here, you're looking at negative 35. That's how cold it might feel. This is a sort of cold that can kill people, that can certainly do a lot of damage to crops and fields. Uh, please, uh, this could be really bad if this ends up happening, but good news it's 270 hours out. It's in the land of hope and dreams, fantasy land. But the pattern that we're entering into, just this seems very, very much possible. So let's take a look here at our temperature anomaly really quickly. Because it is going to, again, temperatures will be below average for the next several days. Up and down, left and right. It gets a little bit above average by the middle of next week before temperatures stumble once again. They get below average just about anywhere east of the Rockies pretty much, even for portions of the Midwest and the Great Lakes. Just very cold here and then even colder. Look at this, 30 to even 40 degree temperatures below average for this time of the year in the next seven to 10 days, perhaps. That's the concern here. Extreme Arctic outbreaks, record shattering cold is in the making and is very much possible. 
once we go into the middle of December. Why is that, you might ask? Well, looking at the 500 millibar height anomaly forecast, this is basically showing where we have lots of upper level ridge of high pressure systems, where we have troughs, where we have unsettled weather. So we can see right over here, we got a big old fat honking ridge off towards the west of California. That's bringing in warmer air out of the north, unfortunately. Nice good blocking ridge over the Gulf of Alaska, up across, actually not the Gulf of Alaska, but the Bering, um, the Bering Sea of Alaska, what we call the Bering Sea Block, and we also have the Greenland block up here. And then when you get this pattern right here where it's amplified, big honking ridge here, big trough here, this is a pattern that really fosters very extreme frequent Arctic outbreaks. And this is gonna continue for a while. The pattern does not change. This big, never-ending, resilient trough over the uh, northeastern U.S., over the the Great Lakes over Hudson Bay. This is cold air coming in out of the north, out of northern Canada, out of the higher latitudes. And when it gets this far south into the Midwest, it can cause a lot of problems. A lot of health problems can result from this. And this pattern isn't going to change. This big old fat ridge of high pressure over the next seven to eight days. By the way, this could break all time records for California and for the Intermountain West while we have a big old fat trough over the east. And this is very extreme. You can really argue with me. Big honking ridge here, trough here, ridge over here, and then another trough. This is a pattern, again, that really, really promotes and keeps the cold air coming out of the north for several days on end. But anyways, if you did find this weather forecast very helpful, detailed, informative, and life-saving, Please don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already, folks, because with this extreme weather pattern developing, I will be uploading every single day. And if it becomes more extreme than what we've previously forecasted, we might have to do double whammy headers on the channel. That means uh, afternoon upload if necessary, if I'm available to doing it, followed by, of course, my regular scheduled morning videos that I've recently started here on the YouTube channel. But again, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, this is the time to doing so, because as you know, we are getting closer to winter and things are going to spiral out of control, I'm afraid, by the middle of December.